When it comes to rendering views with Reanimated, it follows the same principles as Animated in React Native. So first we'll import Animated from React Native Reanimated. We'll render an animated.view and apply some styles that we've already set up. We're going to apply some simple box styling. So we're going to say style equals styles, not box. And now we have our orange box showing up. Because React Native Reanimated operates on the native side, we need to use its counterpart. So we'll import tap gesture handler from React Native Gesture Handler. So with our Tap Gesture Handler, we're going to wrap our animated node. The next step is to create a constructor so that we can create an event handler for our Tap Gesture Handler. So say constructor props and we're going to call super with our props. We're then going to need a few pieces destructured from animated. So we're going to say const event and value equals animated. Now inside our constructor, we're going to set up a value to hold on to the gesture state. So we'll say const state equals new value, say negative one. And this is going to hold on to the tap gesture handler's gesture state. So it's going to start with began, eventually move on to active, and then end as the gestures of the user's touch goes through the gesture life cycles. With our state to hold on to our gesture state, we now need to create an event handler. So you know, this dot on state change equals event, which works just like animated event, which it takes an array and then an object for the first argument that that function will be called with. We'll then say native event. And what we care about is state. And state is a special property passed onto native event that holds the gesture handler's current state. So now we can use the on handler state change and pass in our this dot on state change so that it will receive the gestures and set the values onto, new val onto our value of state. The next step is to create the conditional for the opacity. So we need to import a couple more things. The first thing we need to import is state from React Native Gesture Handler, as well as condition and equal. The state exported from React Native Gesture Handler will, equal, will have the numbers that equate to the particular state changes that the handler is going through. So we're going to set up this dot underscore dot opacity and we're going to use a conditional. So we'll say condition which takes three arguments. The first is the thing that is being compared to so what's going to be either true or false. So we're going to say EQ and we're going to say state which refers to the gesture state and when it is equal to state.began, so that means a user has tapped on this but has not yet released, then it will provide the value that it comes next, so the second argument to condition, which will be 0 0.2. So we'll have a 0 0.2 opacity. When this state is anything but state.began, then we want to provide a different opacity. And in our case, it will be 1. So now that we have a state change to hold onto from an event from a gesture handler, as well as our conditional setup, we can now pass that into our animator.view. So now when we press on our tap gesture handler, the state will be set, our conditional will run, and we now have a point to opacity, and then on release, our state will change to end, and that will then return the opacity of one and update our animated.view, all without sending a single event over the bridge. 